When wiping surfaces in a patient bathroom on a daily basis, you should always clean high-risk patient touchable surfaces first before moving towards the dirtier surfaces. Before entering your bathroom, remove gloves, wash your hands and dry them properly before putting on new gloves. Toilets should be flushed with the lid down to avoid the toilet sneeze before applying your toilet cleaner to the bowl. Let this chemical sit in the bowl while you clean the rest of the room. Check and replace any consumables and remove and replace the bin liner. Take your ready to use pre-moistened red microfiber cloth and make sure it is folded twice to give you eight sides to clean with. Start by wiping the door handle and any patient touchable call buttons or switches, as these surfaces should never be wiped with a dirty used cloth. Turn the cloth over to the next side and wipe down any dispensers, mirrors, taps and basins in this area. If you need to scrub the basin, take a clean microfiber scrubby pad and scrub any hard to remove areas before wiping them down with your microfiber cloth. Sponge scourers should not be used as they abrase the surface and cannot be cleaned properly. Remember, any cleaning items used in a washroom must not be taken to reuse and clean another washroom. Anything taken out of this room will either be put in a waste bag or placed in the bag for later laundering. Continue cleaning by unfolding the cloth to its next side and wipe the shower surfaces starting with any patient touchable rails and then cleaning the walls from top to bottom. If the shower or walls require a full clean, then wash this area down using the Wally wall washing pads on a small extension pole so that you can easily reach up high and down low without stretching or bending over. The head can be locked to minimise head rotation and make it easier to clean wall and ceiling surfaces. A new red Wally pad should be used for each separate washroom area. Scrub the toilet bowl using the toilet brush that remains in the room. Start by scrubbing the higher areas of the bowl and under the rim and work down to the lower areas and under the water line before closing the lid and flushing. Wipe the toilet brush handle with your cloth as you place it back in the holder. Next, turn your cloth inside out to the next side and start wiping the toilet surfaces from the cleanest and most touchable towards the dirtiest. This means the first surface we will wipe will be the cistern and touchable flush buttons on top of the lid. Unfold to the next side and continue wiping the other external surfaces of the toilet like the exterior of the bowl and behind the lid. Unfolding to the next side, lift the lid and start wiping the internal surfaces of the toilet, like under the lid and on top of the seat. Then with the next clean area of microfiber cloth, wipe under the seat and on top of the bowl. After cleaning the toilet, place the used cloth in the bag on your trolley for later laundering. If you are cleaning a bathroom with non-slip flooring, where the surface will normally tear up your mops, then you'll need to mop these floors with a red scrub and dry microfiber mop. Take a clean mop from your cleaner's trolley and place it Velcro side up on the bathroom floor. Lower the aqua mop over the cover and press the button on top of the handle for a few seconds to release solution in front of the mop. Move the front of the mop across the solution to evenly wet the front edge of the mop only. Remember, the rear area of the mop will be used to dry the floor. Start by mopping the edges first closest to the door and basin area, working from cleanest areas towards dirtier toilet areas. Next mop the shower before finishing around the toilet area. Always keep the leading edge of the mop forward so that the back of the mop is always drier. You will need to steer the mop using the grip on the handle with your lower hand. Place the used mop head in the bag on your trolley for later laundering. When exiting the bathroom, it is important not to touch the door handle with dirty gloves or a previously used toilet cloth. Leave the door slightly open when exiting, or if you need to, use a new cloth before wiping both handles.